Okay. The complaint today is a water leak, and we are in the process, we've already been given approvals to replace this walk-in equipment, but they told us to hold off because they were concerned about a water leak that they get every time it rains, and they want to make sure that they don't have to replace the entire walk-in. So I came out just to investigate myself. The customer actually didn't come ask me to come out here, but I just came out to investigate. Their complaint is, is that this area right here fills up with water. Now there is a little bit of water and it is currently raining outside, okay? I'm sure, you know, there's, there's a couple things going on. Number one, you see that walk-in freezer door has a bad threshold or something, or door sweep or something like that. But they say that whenever it rains, it'll fill up this entire box right here with water. And they say there's a planter box on the other side of this wall that causes that. Also, it's kind of hard to show up on camera, but I can see signs of moisture coming from the ceiling of this box, too. Just a little bit. It, it's really hard to see on camera, but I do see signs up there. There's a little bit of frost right there, too. This is definitely an old box, and it needs some love. This is their outside planter, and they say that this floods with water whenever it rains. And you see you've got a roof drain right there that's dripping, and you can tell it's coming from the roof. And I'll show you on the roof here in a minute, but there's grease dripping out of that drain too. Okay, so it's currently raining. It's been raining for a day or two. It's not very flooded out here, but there is definitely a lot of moisture. So they've got a massive grease problem on this roof. These are the roof drains. And you can see this is all grease. They have grease build up really bad. And I'll explain to you why here in a minute. But you see those two drains, a primary and a secondary, and one of them is plugged with grease. I believe that's the primary drain. I'm not a plumber, but from the looks of it, the one with the screen on it is the primary, and the other one is the secondary. So I believe that being that the primary is plugged up with grease, that instead they're draining into the secondary, and the secondary is flooding that planter box outside. That's my opinion. Again, I'm not a plumber. Um, so I think they need to get someone up here to clean all this grease. This isn't me. And they need to solve the problem of the grease. The other thing is, is that this is the low spot on the roof. So whenever it rains, it's going to flood out those drains because this is the, the floor drain for this area. So we come over here. You can see definitely grease, 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 grease. Come on over here and we can see the problem. The problem is, is that this grease trap is not getting cleaned enough, okay? It's doing its job, but it's not getting cleaned enough. As you can see right there, it's actually overflowing at the moment and it's gonna fill up and it's just plugged with grease. So they need to clean this grease trap more often. I've come in here several times where this thing has fallen off and just poured grease all over the roof and that's the problem. They used to have a grease containment system. It used to go down into that drain and go down to a catch system. Like for instance, this exhaust fan I think is still part of that system. I'm not a grease guy, you know, this isn't my thing. I'll, I'll put a grease trap on there because they wanted me to because that was broken but they need to clean it more often is the problem. So I believe that, and again, like I said, this is my opinion, I'm not a plumber. I'm not a roofing guy, but I believe that the water leak is coming from a roof leak, a combination of a roof leak and a uh, flooding that planter box and it's entering the walk-in on the outside of the box. Because even though, you know, it, this building isn't waterproof. So, you know, if they have four inches of water from that planter box, it's, it's still gonna enter the building through the side because it's not waterproof, you know? So for the most part, it's pretty dry on top of the walk-in but there's a big moisture spot right there. And those are roof drains. And those are also coming out the side of the wall where they think the planter box is filling up with water. You can tell that there's been a water issue right here before. So I think we've got a roof leak that's leaking down and then dripping down into the box. It's pretty calcified right there, like it's been a big puddle. The rest of the walk-in looks pretty decent. Don't see any problems over there for the most part looks okay so I think we need to get a roofer out here and rip that drywall and figure out where that's coming from it's probably coming from those pipes right there and I'll go up onto the roof and look all right so uh, as you guys saw in the video this was a service call on a water leak okay and I kind of alluded to it a little bit 
This particular walk-in, we have gotten the approval to replace the condensed unit and the evaporator coil in. Uh, we were we had actually just received the equipment and then they put everything on hold. Uh, they told us that they wanted to see where this water leak was coming from before they went ahead with any other repairs on the unit. So, uh, out of I just went out there just because I wanted to get this job done and I don't want to drag it on any longer. So I just kind of went and investigated myself. Uh, I think that they're going to end up replacing or repairing this equipment because they're not going to replace the whole walk-in box for something like this. Uh, I think it's just as simple as, like I said, cleaning up that grease, figuring out the roof leak, and then uh, cleaning that primary roof drain. Uh, once they do that, you know, I think that the the water leak will cease to exist. You know, it's things like this. Uh, the troubleshooting, I mean, you know, I'm not a plumber, I'm not a roofer, but I can figure out some basic water leaks and just kind of investigate. And you guys saw my thought process and how I went through there. I'm not the end-all, be-all you know, person that's going to diagnose this completely. They're obviously going to lean on those people. But at least what I did was with this video, I was able to send this to the customer, the facilities department, so they can better see what's going on. Because to them, they're not on site and they won't ever go on site. They're just listening to the general manager on site who's saying they need a new walk-in box and they're like getting all panicked. And so for me to be able to, as the contractor, the HVAC guy, to be able to send them some videos and pictures and say, here, here's what's going on. You know, that really helps them and then helps to build the relationship too that I have with them. It's that kind of trust that we have, you know, that I can do that kind of stuff for them and ease their worries and different things. So that's pretty much it, guys, on this one. This wasn't a very difficult one. It was just kind of an interesting one. You know, I, I, I do stuff like this quite often, you know, where they call me because they have a water leak, even though they know it's going to be a plumber or something like that. And I'll go out and investigate because a lot of times what happens is, is other people point fingers. And uh, I've built a relationship with my customer to where they know I don't point fingers unless it's absolutely the truth. And I'll provide them proof instead of just the roofer coming out saying, oh, yeah, it's the AC unit and then leaving. You know, if I was that particular roofer and I didn't do HVAC, I would go figure out where it was leaking in the in the AC unit and then mark it, maybe take some pictures, take some video. So then that way I have some more backing with my finger pointing, you know, that kind of stuff. OK. Um, that's just the kind of person that I am. That's the kind of work that I do. So I like to be thorough, even if it's not my particular job. Um, that's pretty much it guys. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and, uh, check out some of these other channels that should be popping up right now and give those guys some, uh, some love too. let them know what you think about their content. Okay. Thanks.